All right, what is going on, everybody? Gonna do a quick review of some drugstore pomades that I've found, and this one is Axe Classic Pomade. There's a couple types of pomade out there. There's water-based and there is oil-based. I'll go more into the oil-based here in a moment, but water-based is more of a gel type of pomade. Uh, some of them dry stiff. Uh, this one doesn't. It's got a nice hold, but it doesn't flake, and it doesn't uh, have too strong of a hold, but it does hold all day. Uh, the scent, thank goodness, isn't too strong. It's not like their other products. It's just got a fresh, kind of a barbershop scent to it. Uh, but yeah, not a bad pomade. It's good for styling. Uh, it's medium hold, high shine. You can see that there. And I got this as a gift. I don't know if I'd buy Axe Pomade, but overall it's a it's a very uh, basic, uh, cheap pomade you can find everywhere. Grocery stores, drug stores. So not a bad entry into water-based pomade. There's some more popular ones out there like Suavecito is one of the more well-known water-based pomade. And uh, next up is a very easy one to find. Uh, this is Old Spice and this is Spiffy Pomade. So this is a very basic product. Um, it's an oil-based product. So oil-based pomades usually have petrolatum. Uh, a lot of them will have beeswax in there as well. And this one does. And it's actually a nice creamy pomade. You can kind of see it there. And it works really well for, for my hair. And it's not too bad. Uh, the smell isn't too bad. The fragrance is uh, just kind of a soft scent. Uh, th thankfully, you don't overload these with scents too much. Uh, next up on the list, we have Dove. And this one is not necessarily a pomade. This is a sculpting paste. And it's more of a whipped consistency. I kind of like this one. I've used a lot of it and it works really well um, for just finding it at the drugstore you can't really go wrong uh, it says non-stiff formula so it's a very very light hold but it does hold my hair all day when I use it and it's not too bad so that is the roundup uh, definitely uh, feel free to like subscribe if you guys like grooming products I do do uh, mostly I like to do smaller brand beard product reviews um, but I will do a quick demonstration of the Axe Pomade, so I just use about that much. And definitely check out my other videos. I, Like I said, my passion is more uh, beer products, but most pomades, any one of these three, you can use this way. I usually just spread it out of my hands and do a slight cover of the hair. And work it in. It's good to cover all the uh, hair from all angles. Uh, that way it gets, per gets pretty well distributed. And it makes your hair a lot easier to style when it's got a good coverage there. I usually just do a quick comb like this, looking at a mirror, so off camera a little bit. But that's it, that is my hair routine for short hair, uh, pomades and sculpting putties and Things like this actually work pretty well, and you can find them most anywhere. Uh, these are some of the more uh, well-known newer brands. Um, I like to do reviews of the older brands like Murray's. I'm going to be doing one of Royal Crown soon. Uh, Dax Pomade is another good one. Trace Flores is an awesome uh, brilliant team. It's a shine product I'll be reviewing shortly. And yeah, definitely check out my videos. Like, subscribe if you like grooming products. Beard products are another one of the, like I said, my passions that I'm going to have on the channel. So uh, keep an eye out for smaller brands and uh, more unique scents and things like that coming up on my later videos. But that's it, guys. Uh, that's my rundown of drugstore pomades. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. And like I said, that's how I pretty much apply all pomades. All these work kind of the same way. And yeah, not a, not a bad option if you're looking for hair products, guys. All right, well, peace out.